Savile Road. This is uh, things to do in London. I'm quite cheap. This is Izumiyaki on uh, the first shop that we passed on Savile Road, which is known for its bespoke tailored suits for the gentleman, the finer gentleman. It is uh, probably uh, the most reputable and best place to buy a fine suit of pretty much any kind. Uh, because they're bespoke, you can get them made up to however you like. Um, now, uh, bespoke, the actual word is said to be a suit that was asked to be spoken for, which is where be spoke comes from. Uh, just uh, so we don't pass it, there's a couple of shops on the right, uh, followed by a police station up ahead. While I just explain a bit more about this uh, traditional old road situated in Mayfair. It's a very expensive road, uh, you won't find uh, a suit cheaper than uh, about three to four hundred pounds here probably. Uh, and a bespoke suit can set you back to, well, anything. Like you can pay uh, 20,000, 30,000 quid for a suit down here. Um, Savile Road, this road was built between 1731 and 1735 as part of development of the Burlington Estate, which runs from the uh, now Royal Academy uh, of Arts. And it's named after Lady Dorothy Savile, who was the wife of the third Earl of Burlington. How interesting. This is Satoria, uh, where you can sit on a funky cushion and drink um, some cocktails. Um, <laughs> there, went, there went the history just like that, didn't it? Okay, um, anyway, uh, yeah, so this is a cocktail bar. Uh, Let's have a look. Are there any prices? Prices? No, no. Food, food, food. No, not really. Um, Richard James on the right hand side is uh, one of the newcomers to Savile Row and they make a quite fresh looking modern cut um, suits, uh, fashion led rather than um, design uh, or tailored led. Uh, but I really like the suit there, so much so that I've got my wedding suit from there. Um, and just down the side road there is the Richard James Bespoke Shop, where you can just buy uh, bespoke wear. So that's ready to wear, wherever you see clothes in the shop. Um, but there are plenty of places along here where you won't see any clothes in the shop. And uh, they are true bespoke shops, where you just have a high selection of uh, fabrics and you just choose uh, what kind of suit you want and you go for several fittings and you get your suit. Uh, Oswald Boateng, Boateng there, sorry, Oswald Boateng, uh, who uh, makes suits for such people as uh, Jamie Foxx and um, uh, who's that other famous dude, uh, Will Smith. Uh, yeah, he makes um, suits for those dudes. Uh, Mark Marengo, another modern and uh, new entrant to uh, Savile Row. Uh, very funky new uh, cut. So these three, Mark Marengo, Richard uh, James and Oswald Boateng, uh, they're like three contemporary places. And then on the left, you've got Norton and Sons where uh, you can um, find clients such as uh, Daniel Craig buying their suits. There. then Henry Poole down at the bottom. There, there's a lot of basement shops here and um, Henry Poole uh, are, well they, they were the first tailors here. Uh, there, there's Poole again. They uh, invented, uh, well they didn't invent the suit but uh, they were the suit company and uh, they were the first tailors on Savile Row. Uh, let's see, um, Landvin on the right, uh, another ready-to-wear shop. Then on the left, uh, Hardy Amy's bespoke men's shirt. That's now available and uh, bespoke suits. Uh, I guess the um, good thing about not having to do ready-to-wear stuff is that you don't need a massive, massive shop 
um, Stowers, a bespoke shop there. Uh, Stowers was uh, head of Geese and Hawks for uh, the bespoke section of it for 25 years and then uh, he's now um, bought out this shop with uh, James Levitt and uh, they run that shop down there and then there's Richard Anderson at the top uh, incorporating Strickland and Sons uh, very uh, famous shop, nice uh, one button linen suit on the right hand side in white. Ooh, scabble, very 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 nice uh, walls and scabble. Um, they do, uh, well you can get anything uh, made up in, in this street, pretty much any cloth you can think of. Um, it's more difficult to find the light coloured uh, light fabrics uh, like mohair but the, you can still find it here that's the great thing you, you come along here and uh, if you want it and you got the money you can pay for it and you can have it uh, there's Gary Anderson over there on the right hand side followed by Spencer Hart and uh, uh, Lara Boot now on the left hand side we've got Huntsman uh, now um, a lot of these places, including Henry Ford, Royal Warrant, which means that they supply um, clothes to the royal family. So uh, probably half of these places along this street own a royal warrant, and uh, they uh, supply clothes to the royal family. So if you want to dress like the royal family, then uh, you just have to come here and get a suit made up. Dave even son. Uh, these aren't seat makers, uh, you may recognise the brand, it's uh, Ibizu, uh, the expensive jean store. Uh, this used to be Ravi Taylor's joint uh, and uh, he ended up moving out because he didn't really like sharing his premises with a jean shop. Not really his thing. Kilgore, uh, famous for the Fred Astaire tailcoat suit uh, worn during Fred Astaire's uh, dances. They've um, redesigned the whole shop interiors so they're kind of modern and funky. Uh, traditional tailoring with uh, modern lines. Uh, and they got the uh, shop next door as well. So uh, one is kind of semi bespoke and uh, one is uh, ready to wear, including uh, selling shirts. Uh, there's a William Hunt shop over there as well, and the Savile Road Company on the right hand side. And uh, there's a gallery down below here, the James Hyman Gallery. Some uh, funky sculpture. Easy to miss these uh, basement shops, but uh, they are about Eden Ravenscroft at the top there, which isn't quite on Savile Row, but you can see it off there. They make uh, robes for the royal family. So if you want to uh, uh, <laughs> dress in your nightwear and you want a robe like the Queen then you get it from Eden Ravenscroft. Uh, one of the most famous places uh, on uh, Savile Row is Geeves and Hawks which is situated at number one uh, Savile Row. Savile Row which is misspelled on uh, one of these editions of Monopoly, uh, one of these special ones which uh, is spelt with double L incorrectly of course. Uh, Geese and Hawks supply uh, suits to the military and uh, uh, to uh, a lot of the royal family uh, but their suits uh, are more ready to wear these days than bespoke. And there you go, Savile Row. So I hope you enjoyed Savile Row and uh, if you need a place to buy a suit then well, I'm Savile Row. This is Things to Do in London and I'm Kwai Chi. Until next time, take care.